Hello everyone. Let's um, solve this problem quickly. Solution. We have x to the power of negative 1 to be equal to 27 to the power of x. And then x to the power of negative 1 is 1 over x according to the law of indices. And this is equal to 27 to the power of x. And now the next thing I'm going to do is to cross multiply so that when I do that, this will be over 1. And we have x times 27 to the power of x. We have 27 or we have x times 27 to the power of x. And this will be equal to 1 times 1, which is 1. And now, from here, the next thing I'm going to do is to divide both sides by x. Divide this by x. Now, x is canceling this. Then we have 27 to the power of x to be equal to 1 over x. Okay, so having done this, the next thing I'm going to do is trying to remove x from the left hand side completely. And for me to do that, I will raise, I will multiply the power here by 1 over x. So I'm going to have 27 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over x. This way I will be able to eliminate the x. And this will be equal to 1 over x and now that i introduced one over x to the left i must bring it to the right hand side so i'll have this raised to the power of one over x as well and then from here this will cancel this and we have 27 alone which is equal to one over x to the power of one over x on the right hand side, I have the power to be the base, right? Then on the left hand side, I can write 27 in index form as I have 3 to the power of 3. So this will now be equal to 1 all over x to the power of 1 over x. And the next thing to be done is to compare. If you work with the powers, you will see that x or um, I mean you see that 3 is equal to 1 over x 1 over x right and then if you also compare the the base you will see that 3 is also equal to 1 over x and from here we can cross multiply so that 3x will be equal to 1 okay 3x will be equal to 1 then we can divide by by 3 now so that x will be alone if you divide both sides by 3, 3 can cancel 3, and x will be equal to 1 over 3. So this is the value of x that will satisfy the given equation. Okay, so we can just compare this to see if we are right or wrong. And if we compare, now we are having 1 over 3 to the power, because x is 1 over 3 now, to the power of negative 1. Okay. And then on the right hand side, we have 27 to the power of x, which is 1 over 3. Now here, if you, if you remove this negative from here, you're going to flip the fraction here. So it's going to be 3 over 1. And then everything is to the power of 1, no negative again. And then 3 over 1 is the same thing as 3. And 3 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 3. Now, let's try the right hand side. 27 to the power of 1 over 3 is the same thing as the cube root. Cube root of 27, right? Cube root of 27. And cube root of 27 is 3. So, we can see that the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. So, we are very correct. Thank you for watching.